Hey everybody! Yes, I know, I know. Uh, Atlas. Nipponichi. And you guys should know what it is because I announced it for God's sakes. Um, nobody voted in my poll, so I'm going ahead with Rhapsody. Uh, going on normal, Japanese, and... No. Go back to Max. I want it on Max. That way you guys get the full experience of this. Well, not really. I'm gonna turn up the music in places, turn it down in places, and... You will see the end result of it whenever I decide to stop talking. BAM! you damn right. And no, no, I'm not going to be doing my voice acting like I am in uh, Monster Seed, because Monster Seed is a different beast. Monster Seed, you kind of have to have something to make it special. This is going to be a train wreck for a 20-something guy to be playing a game for 14-year-old girls. Um, maybe 20-something year old girls, maybe. That's if we're being generous with the Japanese audience. And I'm not even sure this isn't just supposed to be parody. Honestly. And, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've only played through, like, the first 30 minutes of the game. And um, that was in a recording that didn't go so well, but would have been fairly good for me if the audio had recorded. Which it didn't. So, I'm here recording this for a third time watching all of this. So, rather, fourth or fifth actually watching Rhapsody, a musical adventure, as it were. Um, and this is the main character. Her name is Cornette. Cornette plays the Cornette. Also, uh, apparently she can talk to Pixies, which we will find out more about later. Um, and not even really much, much later. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing in your room that you can do. This is where you figure out the controls of the game. There is no jump button, so it's not Xenogears. Triangle does nothing except for run. So I'm left to press O, because X is obviously confirm. Um, I've got all these uh, things. Let's look at specials for Cornette. Sugar candy attack. Flan attack. Cake attack. Pancake attack. And heart. Anyway, I don't know how to use any of these. Because the game has not told me yet. Equip. Equip does the same, and these are all of your accessories. Your accessories do different things. I have two of them. Uh, offense plus five or defense plus five. I'm going to choose defense because it's by far the most prominent stat on this character. Plus, I can actually buy another Cat's Paw for 500. Yes, I have played just a little bit. Order just means you change the order of people in your place, and save does exactly what it says. Options are the exact options that you saw in the beginning. So, now that I've explained the menu system and told you that you don't find anything in your room, it's time to go downstairs and talk to your granddad. Why your granddad? Because your mom and dad are dead from a war. Uh, no, I don't want to be crazy. God, look at that cat! It's been impaled several times over and stabbed. Look at it. Look at it. It's just soulless, goofy. Ex ah, okay. Um, but apparently, this thing, this puppet that your granddad found in the mailbox is talking to you, and oh god, this is where the narrative shits itself. Literally! Uh, yes, it is Shart. Your first companion 
is Shart. Cornette plays her music, and Shart joins your company. And then your granddad makes an offhand comment about how uh, you love puppets. And yes, they are puppets. So this is not the first time I've played a game with living toys. Cue Guardians Crusade image now. And uh, yes, Enotium. Enotium is your currency. I don't know what's special about red Enotium, but there is something special about red Enotium. There's also nothing to be found in your house, so I'm gonna leave. I can leave my house. This guy talks about Toad, saying that beware of him, this girl wants to give you one, and this one is looking for Koro. I'm guessing it's a dog or a toad or something. These are the townspeople. That's how you first figure out that your parents are dead. Or gone. Mother Green is the center of the world's everything, so Mother Green, yeah, is a big deal. Enodium is the source of our energy. It's very important to us. Enodium is also used as a currency in the kingdom. Which makes no sense! You use your most valuable source of energy as your... Okay. And I find 40 of it just laying in a... Okay. Okay. Um, also, I can make 15 of it just by playing a melody in Melody Square. And here is where I start saying I'm sorry. Because the game is going to start slowing down. I don't know why, but the game is going to start slowing down here. There's also a contest that I know nothing about and can do nothing about. Will it follow me? No. Does that mean that I've got to kind of tell the boy where the dog is? I don't know. This guy followed alongside Dad, and also in this church is a way to heal yourself by praying at a goddess statue, which, I'm going to be honest, I really like the sprites in this game. Yeah, I said it. What? And I can't tell him about Koro. Okay, fair enough. Since there's not really much else to do aside from talk to the people and talk to the puppets, which, yes, there are a bunch of puppets. Okay, this is the world map. I only have, like, one thing uncovered, so, uh... Holy crap, that is awesome! It's a fire-breathing fish! Uh... Okay, let's see what else is here. Apple Plain, Shill uh, Lake, or Shill Lake. Why would I ever need to go into those? Because it doesn't appear that there are any places in them. Oh well, not a big deal. I guess they're just like this huge source of uranium or whatever. In Odium. Um, and here is the scene where you get introduced to the battle mechanics. Um, and I think I'm going to skip a different scene. Sorry to say. It's because of the slowdown. And if I... Uh, if it won't let me skip it, I'm sorry in advance. But there's nothing I can do about slowdown on this. Once again, I have to emulate everything because I don't have a video capture card and nobody is willing to fund me for it. So I apologize in advance. I also need a modded 
PlayStation 3, but that's because I only have backups of old games that I used to have. So, I apologize, because I lost all my old games. Yeah, I did. It happens. Sorry, guys, but it happens. I know. I forgot to equip her with things. That's gonna be a big deal. So I will attack this toad to get the, uh... I also pressed O, which is auto battle for my, uh, person here. Yes, it is actually auto battle. And, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, I did five damage. Now I'm gonna move here, I guess? I guess that I can, uh... Yeah, I guess that I can do one thing here. Um, yeah, I could have ran away there, but... How else am I supposed to get to level 2? Honestly. And getting to level 2 is a big deal. Now, here's where I'm going to try and skip a scene. And I did. I think. Yeah, I did. Not that the song's bad, but it would have come out bad. And I will show it for you. I will put it in a separate thing, I guess, because I can. But yes, there's also this. I have no idea what it is yet, but I spotted it. And there's a cave that I can't enter. Why can I enter this cave? I guess why not, right? Huh. Illustration number one. Filling out my gallery already. And getting out of the cave, because cave is obviously just bad place, but I'm gonna go back in just to check. Um, 100 Nodium, okay. I once again forgot to equip Shart with anything. So Shart is uh, gonna cast magic on the slime. And the slime died. Good. Oh, it's a jelly. It's a slime. I want to move here so I can horn and...
my horn takes up magic power. Okay, good reason not to use it all the time. But, at the same time... Not what I meant to do, but what I did anyway. I apologize for opening the menu. Okay, I want to move here. Blow the horn. Give Sharp more power, because I do remember giving her the uh, ability to take care of herself. Meaning her attack power. I also wanted to give the ability to use reward, which I believe is based off of the uh, horn. Or uh, attacks there of, I guess? Well, no, not even the attacks, because I can't use those. But I can do this and completely decimate that, so I'll end that. And he's going to attack her, and... Ow. Uh, I'll use one more horn, just to... Cement myself in this... And attack. Attack. I should be getting up to level 3 with this, so I shouldn't need to worry about healing or anything. And I found a healing candy. Hey! This wasn't a bad idea anyway, to go into the cave. So, yeah, I'll finish off the cave, I suppose, and then I'll, uh... Then I'll, uh... Go back out and... Okay, go over here. Use horn on her now I should be able to use reward which are the uh, which are the other things okay magic saint and yes uh, reward should should convert it and give me a monster and this is should Reward. Sugar candy. It only costs one reward for a sugar candy. All of these don't cost anything but one of the gauges up top. And sugar candy is not what I want, so move here and I'll use attack. Hey, she killed a slime on her own. What do you know? This will also make the upcoming boss battle much, much easier. So, yeah. I also hate that whenever it lags behind, it'll, uh... Say, hey, you can't do that. Um... Move here, and... Move... Here, and... And... Cornette's gonna be able to kill that and Short's gonna kill that. Yeah, this really isn't that difficult once you get the hang of it. And now level 4, level 4. Yeah, I'll let the jelly join. I mean, I know it's weak as crap, but yeah, I'll let it join. Status on Jelly. Uh, close range, level 1, and yeah, I'm sure to keep you in the back. Because you're not actually that useful. Healing Candy. One more. Nice. I shouldn't need to use those next to it all in this fight, or in these fights. So, I'm just going to continue on to try and 
find treasures in this here cave. No, I don't want to go that far. Quit lagging. Because I understand the layout of the cave, there's nothing left. Okay. No more cave to explore. Well, next to no more cave to explore. Now no more cave to explore. And let's see, I think it's down and over and... Well, if it is down, then it's not right. Okay, move over here. I'll use horn because I can. On the... Can't use it on the jelly, okay. And move. Come on, move. Move up here. Thank you. And... I can't move the jelly at all. Okay, move. I want you to move back here. And stay out of the way, jelly. For now. And this way... Yeah, most everything's gonna miss her because of the, uh... Fighter spirit. And this should get Jelly up to level 2. And he learned Geo! Nice! And I found an antidote ball. Cool. Did I go up here? Yes, I did. This is the place with the illustration 1. Okay. Now that it's clear where I've been and where I'm going, uh, it's time to leave the cave because there's nothing left to do here. And soon I shall be fighting three cats. You heard me. And three cats, well, yeah, three cats shouldn't be too damn hard. Okay. Toads. Yeah, these toads are... Let's see what Geo does to them. It puts a cactus up their ass! I wish that I was making that up. Also, nothing over here. Nothing at all. So, go up. Let's see, nothing back there, so... Not even gonna worry about it. This should be a s Wow! That's not what I expected. Horn. End. Okay, uh, get back here. Yeah, the, this game has a small problem. 43. I want you to move all the way back here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can come up. And now I shall attack. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to do much, but that's not the problem. That's not even the... E even part of it. Because, bam! Now... Oh, wow, that's a great amount of Etonium. Level 5, Jelly level... Th or Jelly 8 is level 3. And, uh, skill level is now increased to level 2. Yeah. Let's see. Anything down here? Oh, right, right. The Natalie River. You will be sorry if you fall in. Uh, I will 
will be so sorry if I fall in. Uh, I can't wait to be so sorry. Uh, beautiful hand-painted scenery, but the invisible walls kind of ruin it for you. Okay, now to search for Etonium. I keep saying Etonium, it's a Notium. Enotium, 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 Enotium. Uh Go ahead, call me a dumbass. I don't care. I was saying it right in the beginning and then it just sort of went Etonium. Enotium. I've got a small case of dyslexia. Pardon it. And this is a witch. A catwoman witch. A cat witch! I wish I'd known where I heard that before. It's such an easy to use trope now, I mean seriously. Yeah, those little ones are idiots. So that's fine by me. I mean, honestly, it's gonna be easier for me whenever I beat the fuck out of them. Let's just leave before they're so stupid that they, uh, Make us just for, uh, forget how to breathe. Also, the fairy's name is Kururu. Would have been nice to know before this, but they never explained anything. So, all you know is Kururu is a puppet, has been in love, and is older than uh, Cornet is. We have no idea who uh, Meow is. But, uh, we, uh, we don't know anything about the, uh, cats either. So, yeah, all we know is that she's a witch. And she's a cat. And she wants the red and odium. Hey, I said it right! over here and move this cat does not know what's coming to him poor cat they say they have nine lives he didn't even get one yes I know the slime is probably the weakest of the things that I've got but bam 11 damage is not anything to laugh at. Oh, he knows heal. Huh. Heal cat is healing. Bomb cat is bombing. And slime cat is dead. So I'll move over here. No, I won't. I'll move here. Because it doesn't matter what I do. I just want to build this gauge. And, uh... And... Move. Now, I'm going to use a reward on the bomb cat. Meet shield. Deploy. Okay, now, reward. Sugar candy. Onyanchi! Nyanchi took 46 damage because I pelted him with sugar candy. Shard is now level 5. She has learned wake. Jelly is now level 4, and nothing else has happened. So it doesn't matter. Miss Meow! Miss Meow! They beat us up! Yeah. Those guys are dumb. And this is where 
if she could have done this all along, I don't know why she didn't. She summoned a dragon out of nowhere. Literally. And then the dragon went to sleep, but still. She literally summoned a dragon out of nowhere. Out of nowhere! Believe it or not, I'm firmly on the side of Cornette because she's not actually... She's not actually dumb. She's really, really brave. She's just... stupid. In a way. She's like every shonen protagonist right there. I also like the way that Naruru is actually really really self-aware on the fact that this is a game. Which is why I'm thinking that this was supposed to be parody and nobody got it in the States. Which is only par for the course because in the States people won't get this type of thing, sorry. My name is not important. Leave here immediately. Otherwise... I will slay you! Yes, this is... This is, uh... The one person that I might... Long shot might actually uh, voice act and I'm not even really going to do that and uh, this is well I'll let him introduce himself This is Prince Ferdinand. And yeah, he's actually a pretty awesome guy. From what his introduction has been shown as. Yeah, it's just one of those things that, uh, I love the way that this is so delightfully self-aware. And, uh, you know what? Yeah, this is about where I called it last time, so this is going to be where I call it this time, too. Just about, anyway. I'm going to, uh, go back to the square and make about 15 more dollars and... You know what? No, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to go. I'm going to buy a few things and I'm going to. I'm going to save. After all of this uh, dialogue, of course. Heh. <laughs> We should talk to the people in Orange and Mother Green. Those are lit literal names for towns in this place. If 
That is a scary, scary cat. And even this person has to admit that he's good looking. And she's going to be the traditional delirious little princess, like Cornette is. Uh, wow, that was bad. Queen Sigrid and the Prince. Okay. Now, because I do have enough money to buy another attack jewel, I will. I might even buy two. Because there's nothing else I'm going to spend my money on right now. I've got uh, no reason to get any of these. Uh, and I've got Heal Coco, which basically does the same thing. I also have a free way to do all of that. So... Equip Cornet with a cat's paw. Now go over to Jelly and do the same thing. So now, let's compare stats. 22 and 26. 21 and 20 and 17 and 16. So far, Cornet is the best character in the game. I can store your monsters. Can I help you with anything? Not right now, because my slime is fine. Yes, it's a slime, not a jelly. Because every denominator, every RPG has their own slimes. And yes, this is where you heal in the town and what a better place to save than in the church so i bid you all good night